Okay, hello. This here's Rob from Tesla Owners US, and we are returning customers. So for sure, German detailing special specialty, and my wife urged me about that many times. How about my car? And that's what we're gonna go through this yeah, time. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So we did a little correction here on the stands, and so now let's go through the topics what needed to be done. So I don't know if you find something here. This is all foiled, right? So you ca basically cannot do much when it's foiled. Cool, there, bro, yeah. right? This one is a little scratch of the foil. I don't know how good that is be to be prepared or how good you can adjust that, right? Yeah. Well, you need to take the foil off. That was, I think, at the... That's basically scraped off here. Yeah, it's scraped off, yeah. 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 So I think these wheels are, this wheel is okay. Then from here in the back, what you have there is you have those scratches, and that happened because someone broke into the window. So, and the alarm was not on. Uh, this is an old Tesla, it doesn't have a camera system. I didn't catch the guys, unfortunately. The new ones do have that. And this is what you have to adjust a little bit, right? Yeah. Whatever the scratches, touch-ups touch and scratches, what yeah. you can remove. So then here, I don't know if you can do that or not. There, uh, uh, that will, would be difficult. That's usually someone yeah, that's who has to do. That scratch down to the to the metal. To the metal, yeah. yeah. Whatever you can do, maybe a little touch-up or so. Yeah. Then they're all over the place. There are scratches on that car. Yeah. And then this one is this, this peeling. You see, there's this. Uh, oh, is that plastic dip? There's that plastic dip. Yes, in black. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I go with your judgment. Yeah. The purple one is foil uh -huh. on the car, Ramp. and also here there are some scratches here, as you can see here, some slight scratches. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Here. These are deep scratches. <laughs> oh, deep scratches, yeah. These are very deep scratches. So whatever you can do the best with it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. You still have the paint, right? Yes, I have the touch-up paint from the last, yeah. last one. Yeah, basically that's all. Look inside what you find. Sure, what you also do very nice is the front, the frunk, right? When you open the frunk, then you do this a nice plastic recovering, Yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Plastic refreshing. And plastic refreshing. refreshing that's restoring. Yeah, that's that's good. You need to have the key, yeah. Yes. And then whatever is on the inside, whatever you find, good things there, right? So that's Martina's car in purple. Yeah. Very pretty accent. Yeah, she likes that color. It's from factory. My wife liked that color too. <laughs> oh, then get her to the car, we get another picture with her. <laughs> Maybe in the car with the purple. Oh, she would love that. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Nice. So that's it. Take pictures, take video, whatever you can do. do. And then I will... You're gonna document this process? I will document that process again. Oh, and then a returning happy customer.
was going to be spray some uh, oil and polish remover. It's more like cleaning the surface, like a preparation for painting, uh, applying the plastic dip, I mean. And yeah, then we can go from there. The surface is prepped, clean, and now we can apply the plastic dip like everybody else. some pictures in there what I got from Thomas doing the detailing process and all of the activities what he did and maybe also some videos and now we are excited to go back I hope that my wife is excited because it's her car <laughs> so and she's got that we go back and see the result how the car is or was and she maybe take some pictures for that and uh, this is a question with the quality. If the quality is good, then you may win one customer, but you have to keep producing continuously good quality to keep the customer. And when you one time fail in the quality, then when you lose a customer, then it's a big thing because this is a hard time to gain back that customer. So I worked in the food industry uh, for chocolates actually and when you one time brought out a chocolate which has just uh, maybe a white shadow on a dark chocolate and this is only because it became a little warm and the sugar came out on the surface and customers saw that they were and they were not happy about that <clears throat> only one of three thousand actually wrote to us or to that company who produced that bad chocolate and complained about it so other three thousand customers with it did not but they had the same feeling and then to gain this customer back is this is you have to have a hard time for that 
it is it's similar to Tesla. So once you have to keep doing great, you will stop to become better, stop to be good. And that is important to keep that advantage. So they do have a technology advantage and do the best to keep that technology advantage. But you also have to have a, an eye on the quality. And that's important. So now let's get back to the car and see what quality product Thomas was creating. So at the complete restored Model S from my wife, I later bring her in and see what she's saying. And we're gonna go around the car and then you can explain me a little bit what you did, okay. right? We yeah. take the camera around and then uh, explain me a little bit what you did. Okay. Okay. So Thomas, just go ahead and explain what you did. Okay, yeah, uh, so you came in with your Tesla pretty scratched up here and uh, you requested as a detailing service my uh, ceramic coating package, which is a major paint correction and uh, of course the ceramic coating on top of that. Uh, what means a major paint correction? Major paint correction is a multi-stage machine polish to remove as much as possible scratches and enhance the paint, but with the with keeping in mind to preserve as much as possible of the paint. You cannot chase totality uh, or total perfection to remove all scratches because you're running the risk to thin out the, the clear coat too much. And it could cause, especially down here in the Southwest, in Arizona, uh, we have, you know, the sun is beating down on the cars. Uh, it could cause uh, damage to the to the paint itself even if it looks perfect you know it, because when when the UV, UV rates beating down on the car and the clear coat is too thin you're running the risk that you can still get burned through you know like a burnt clear coat what you see on other older cars and what we did here so, uh, over the last uh, yeah. two days uh, I uh, did two stages of uh, actually uh, two stages of compounding to remove as much as possible uh, of the scratches, polished the marring of the compound out, and then refined the whole process with a very very fine polish, and of course give give the paint the deep gloss and wet look. After that, uh, the car got like twice alcohol wiped down as a preparation stage for the ceramic coating and then the ceramic coating was applied. The car was left indoors, enclosed in, for uh, 12 hours. 
to let the ceramic coating cure totally. And here's the end result. You're ready to go. Can you do that also on the uh, clear bra, which is on top? Please? Yes, everything, everything is uh, uh, ceramic coated. The clear bar section, which is like your, your side mirrors, the whole front bumper, your hood, everything is ceramic coated because there are all different types of ceramic coatings which are applicable uh, also on multi multi variety of surfaces. Yeah, that was the, the white scratch. Maybe we can yeah. just blend in, you know, like, like a before picture. Yeah. Uh, that was like the scraping here. I got this off. Uh, I had a whole bunch of scratches, deep scratches. Scratches, oh, yeah. yeah. I oh, touched wow. them all up as good as possible. Yeah. Uh, of course, scratch removal as best as possible. We did, did I just did touch and up and everything. And also on the lower yeah, side. you're gonna see here also like uh, later on in the video that uh, I refreshed this section of uh, plastic you have, you know, it was covered in plastic dip, but it was like peeling off. So uh, there will be a little, little bit more to see yeah. later in this video. Nice. Yeah. Also, you know, during this did whole you, uh, pol polishing. Did you do something on the inside? Or? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, let me, okay, let's let me open up. Yeah. yeah, that's what I don't have on your... On your I also took uh, before and after pictures of the interior. So you can see like a little bit like how it looked before you came in and... Of course all edges, everything is cleaned up. Just to give the car the, the best look as it can be. The light on. And then show me the front because you also did some plastic uh, protection, right? Yes. In the front. Yeah. Of course, Tesla don't has really an engine bay, so uh, what what I did here is uh, use a water-based dressing. You know, so uh, it will it will carry the material which bonds to the plastic to make the plastic like brand new and then the rest of it evaporates because like I said it's water based and it doesn't leave like an oily sticky film on it on the plastics yeah. so um, yeah and what you also did is that what I think it was very nice that he plugged the car in so, oops, yeah, it was charged overnight. Yeah. And that's always a nice gesture, even you know, it really doesn't cost you much. No. Because a uh, nice gesture to your customers, right? Oh, yeah. So, and that's what I try to provide as much as possible yeah. services. And what did you do with the wheels? Well, the wheels, you know, you came in, with, you had some scrapings, you know, so of course, you know, I touched it up with a little bit of the paint, but you know. Whatever, you know, you have to do. And make it less visible, you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. And the plastics down here are also refreshed, also with the same dressing what we have in, in, the, ah, uh, yes. in, the, in the engine bay, if you want to say it that way. So this, this gives also a new, fresh look to it. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, good. Thank you very much. Now let's get my wife in okay. My dear, this is your car. Beautiful, right? Yes, it is. And it becomes, it becomes eight, year old, eight years old in October. This is number 315 from Tesla produced. Performance P85. Or diamond clear reflecting. <laughs> Everything is like new again. I think basically Maybe it's even better as new, <laughs> as, Almost, we, yeah. as we received it, right? Because new is soft, right? As the surface is soft. Yeah. yeah? Excellent. And Cecilia likes that color as well, that purple. It's beautiful. With the purple. Gorgeous. With the purple handles. 
and accents. Absolutely. Not too much, but right. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Taking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make Just what I do when I'm out so